Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. So I do not really know what I'm gonna call this video yet so obviously by the time you're watching this you will know what it's called because I clearly have no idea but basically the video is gonna be showing you guys products that I have had since about Christmas to the end of January just products new products that I have bought and I have not shown you guys because I wanted to sort of get a feel for them before I spoke about them and all of these products that I'm gonna show you now I will be able to be completely brutally honest with you about all of them and what I think of them and if they're worth going out and purchasing. Okay, so I know um, the dog is looking very chilled over there on the blanket. You know, he's just going to be there throughout the video. Oh my god, he looks super chilled. Have you seen how his legs are? Um, also, filming with natural light today and the uh, weather is super grey outside, so... Apologies, but I said this last time and the light was okay, so we will move forward with the products. So moving all the way back to Christmas, I got some BH Cosmetic products for Christmas and yeah, I have completely become a fan of BH Cosmetics. These are the products that I got. I got a contour and blush palette, the Galaxy Chic palette. Yeah, and the Forever Nude Contour and Highlight and Blush Palette. So I'll take you through them one at a time. I will start with the back one. This was, I can't remember how much it was. I, um, I got this on Black Friday, so everything was obviously super, super cheap. Um, and it must have been about 12.50. I think it was about 12.50. And this is the gorgeous palette itself. So I really, really like these two blush shades. Then this is a great contour shade. I have not really used this one and this one that much, but this is great for under the eyes and setting. So I've really been enjoying using this. If you are new to contouring and you have really, really pale skin, this is probably gonna be a really, really good one for you. So it's the BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush 6 Color Palette really cool and BH Cosmetics is really really good. I only discovered them the end of last year. Really really cool palette. The next one is the 18 colour Galaxy Chic eyeshadow palette and yes all I can say is yes. I've completely fell in love with this palette. The colours look crazy bright but when you put them on your eyes they're not that bright they can be that bright if you really build them up but they start really sheer but not in a crappy way in a really really nice way um today i have on my eyes this one mars and i've really blended it out so yeah it's really really good and for a night out look these bottom the whole bottom row here is great um one of my favorite colors has to be this jupiter color here they're just the payoff is just amazing. I mean, that is crazy good. And this wasn't that expensive either. It's an oldie, but definitely a goodie. They still sell this now. Um, then I got the Forever Nude uh, Contour Highlights and Blush Palette, which looks like this one. This is a lot better for really bronzing than contouring. Um, so I will be bronzing with either one of these two and then really building either one of these two up and this blush is really really nice as well, very pinky, very sweet and it's got um, a bit of shimmering, not too much. It's not like matte but it's not too shimmery. Um, and then the um, highlight is really really nice. And this yellow powder here is great for brightening up. I would not put it right under your eye because I did that and it just cracked and it didn't really sit brilliant. But if you just bring it a little bit further down, that's pretty cool. So that is that. So I would definitely recommend the BH Cosmetic stuff. I've enjoyed using these and I definitely see another purchase from BH Cosmetics in the future. Next is NYX. Now... I bought these three products from NYX. I went to Nuremberg and come across a really cool shop called Douglas and we do have it here in the little town that I live in but the one in Nuremberg is super bigger 
um, and it holds people like Smashbox, Bobby Brown, uh, Dior, you know, just all your higher end products. And, and in there was um, a NYX stand. So I immediately was like, okay, let's let's do this. Previously, I had done some research online about NYX and just picked out some products that I really wouldn't have mind trying. So I had a clear idea of what I was spending my money on before I went. I have really oily skin and a foundation by NYX really jumped out at me and something that I really really wanted to try and it was the Stay Matte Not Flat foundation. This is oil free and for oily skin and I have tried this since purchasing it and I do like it. If you are looking for an everyday foundation which is really, it will keep you matte, this is probably the one for you. It is how much was it? It wasn't expensive, it was about six, seven euros, so really, really affordable. Cheaper than L'Oreal True Match. Um, but yeah, if you are looking for a really, really thick, full coverage foundation, this is not for you. It does build, but it's not amazing at building. If you want an everyday foundation that will stay matte, this is for you. I like wearing this on days where I know I'm going to be out all day and I need to just control the shine. This is good. Okay, the puppy needs a pee so I'm going to be back. I picked this up in the lightest colour which was ivory. Um, yeah, and it's fine. If anything, it's probably a little bit too light which is a great problem for pale skin people. Um, the next thing I picked up was the HD Concealer. So it looks a bit like this. I got this in colour 01. Um, I really like this. I like using this with this. I obviously compare all of my concealers to the Maybelline Age Rewind Eye Eraser. I think that's how it's called. I have no idea. Um, you know, with the little bobble on the top. That is my Holy Grail concealer. So putting it this up against it, I don't know if this is as good. It doesn't give you as much coverage, but it's still a great, great concealer. I like the consistency. It's a little bit thin. Um, harder to blend out than the Maybelline but I still really like it and with this together it works really good. Um, I do have to build it up a lot more than the Maybelline so uh, it's good but it's not unnecessary. If I was going to say purchase an under eye concealer I would pick the Maybelline over this one. Next by NYX is their HD Studio Finishing Powder. Now this is a loose powder, um, which everybody that uses a loose powder knows that the minute I take this lid off, it is gonna go everywhere, so I'm not gonna do that. But it is a translucent powder, so it adds no color to your uh, foundation or concealer. It's just purely to set your foundation and concealer. I'm definitely a powder girl. I like to set my makeup because of the oily mess. Um, and this is really, really good. The only downfall I'm gonna say happened when I used my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in a darker colour. I usually put the light under first and then I sometimes when my bags are really bad I'll put a bit of a darker um, colour because I have the Maybelline Concealer in two colours. So I put it a little bit under here then I set it with this and the darker concealer actually oxidised with this product which was so crazy because using it with this or my lighter Maybelline it was absolutely fine but using it with the darker concealer it oxidized so that was very very frustrating because I was rushing I was on my way out and then I had to have really orange under eyes which is really strange because it has not done it with any other products apart from the 01 fair or nude I cannot remember um, Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. So, yes, watch it. It will oxidize with some products, I think. But with NYX products, it doesn't. So, I'm just going to be super careful with what I use this with from now on. Yes. So, that was my little NYX thing. This next product is this one. It's by L'Oreal. It is their Nude, Nude Magique BB Powder. 
Oh my god, this is amazing. I'm wearing this today. It is classed as like a foundation powder, but it's not. It's just a very full coverage powder. Um, so I have basically set my foundation with this today and I love it. It gives a really, really nice coverage. If you are looking for a new setting powder, have a go with this one. It's just so soft, but it gives a really nice coverage. Not the biggest fan of the packaging as there is a mirror and it's a good size mirror and a little powder puff thing under here. Packaging, not a fan of, but the actual product itself, yes. I have this in the lightest colour that they do. Um, I think it's called Super Light. I have no idea because it was in German, but it still doesn't say it on the packaging. It sort of said it on the little thing that held it together. Um, but yes, I am super, super happy with this. This was not that expensive. It was about six euros and I'm wearing this today and I love it. Very, very nice. Um, my next thing that I have got is another foundation. Anybody that knows or watches my channel knows that I am absolutely obsessed with foundations, so obviously I'm gonna have a lot of them. This is one that I have been hearing a lot about, and my husband just went on a business trip to Canada, so obviously I was like, uh, while you're over there, can you get me this? And he fell and actually got it for me, and it is the CoverGirl uh, ready, <laughs> ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I have it in the lightest one they do, which is 105, which is classic ivory and I heard a lot about this on the internet a lot obviously as I live in Germany you cannot get covergirl and you also cannot get covergirl in the UK so my sister couldn't even send it to me um, so when my husband going to um, Canada I was like please and he was like yeah of course so I sent him a screenshot and I was like this is the exact one I want and yeah this is what I have on today and I've got to say after the hype on the internet um, I, I believe the hype. It's really, really nice. I sort of slapped this on today. I was like, I'm not doing layer by layer. I'm just going to literally slap it on and just blend it in. And it worked. So instead of just like building it up slowly, I was just like, no, I'm not doing that. Slap it on. And this has worked really, really well. So today I have this one on and I have set it with this. So yes, very, very nice. If you can get this, I would recommend getting it. The colour for ivory is fantastic. I find sometimes ivory can be really really pale whereas this is kind of ivory with a nice hint of like, a, bit, a bit darker in it so it's not like white it's it's just a nice ivory and I, I enjoy this well done cover girl this has been really great I've worn this about three or four times since I got it and I love it my last product that I want to talk to you about isn't really a product it is a tool obviously by that you know it is a brush. This is the Zoeva Buffing Brush 104. There it is. It looks like this. Sorry, it's a bit dirty because I just put my makeup on. Um, and I was kind of like, I really, really want this, but I didn't want to pay, I think it was like 15, 15 pounds or 15 euros. It was 15 euros. And I was like, oh, do I, do I, do I? And I thought about it and I researched it and I was looking at it online every day and I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get it. So I did. I just was at the tail paying for their NYX things and it was there and I was like, ah, and I just was like, okay, yeah. And that is basically how I ended up getting this. So I super duper love this Soeva brush. I do, me and my friend Katie talk about this brush all the time. That's how sad I am. But it is ridiculously similar to the one I got on eBay. And this is the one that I got on eBay. As you can tell, they are ridiculously similar, but when it comes to actually applying the foundation, it is different. So, do I think it's worth buying this Soeva brush over this one? Yes. Yeah, I do. I do really think it is worth the money, because once you get it, it just feels quality. This one feels really sturdy and quality. This one... It's okay. I'm not going to diss it because I really like it and when this one's dirty I will totally go back to this one. Uh, but I really think this one is just a little bit better quality. It feels heavier, it's just a little bit better. So yes, the last purchase was this beautiful Zoeva brush. Really like this. So as you can tell, I basically not, 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 not liked not not liked, that sounds so stupid. I have basically liked everything that I have bought this past couple of months. Um, there's been a few issues with a few things, mainly this NYX thingy oxidizing, but everything else has been good, thank God. Um, yeah, so anyway, 
Thanks for watching this video. If you want any information about any of the products, please leave a comment at the bottom. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!